Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for SEF6. This is selenium hexafluoride. So the first thing we need to look at the molecular geometry, we need a Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure for SEF6. You can see we have our central selenium atom has one, two, three, four, five, six bonds. That's okay, it can have an expanded octet. It's surrounded by fluorine atoms. So if we look at this chart here, we look at the steric number, that's the number of things on the central atom. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a steric number of six. So we're gonna need the next part of this chart. So here we go, steric number of six, and we don't have any lone pairs on the central atom. So because there are zero lone pairs, we have an octahedral molecular geometry for SEF6. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So the purple, that'll be the central selenium atom, and we're gonna add six fluorine atoms. One, two, three. You see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. Four, five, and then the last one, six. And we end up with what's called an octahedral molecular geometry. And if you look at this, the bond angles, any bond angles, any way you look at it, the bond angles are 90 degrees. So let's go back to our Lewis structure. And we could also use the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry for SEF6. A, that's the central atom. That's the selenium. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to that central atom. We have the one, two, three, four, five, six. And then E, those are the lone pairs but there aren't any lone pairs on the central atom. So we could say zero, or we could just have AX6. If you look up AX6 on a table of molecular geometries, you'll see that that is an octahedral molecular geometry, just like we found before. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for SEF6, and we should note that the bond angles are all 90 degrees. Thanks for watching.